On Wednesday, Covent Garden aimed another blow at respectability by the production of another Henry Wallet's black servant in the character of Othello. Henry's servant? He said they were friends. Othello, forsooth, a part which the fire of genius Edmund Keen has made his exclusive property, and this to be presented in an English national theatre by one whose pretenses rest upon the ground, of his face being of a natural instead of an acquired tint. It is truly monstrous. In the name of propriety and decency, we protest against an interesting actress and a decent girl like Miss Ellen Tree being subjected to the indignity of being pawed about by Mr. Wallet's black servant. Did they actually say pawed? He was awfully rough with you. But we were acting. You know. We were speaking lines from a play, for goodness sake. That was one of the agreements, no, it this is because that was one opinion. Read it out. What about the spectator? Excellent. Read it out, Bernard. I well, um, of course, old girl. Um, <coughs> last night, Mr. Aldrich, uh, Othello, his person is tall and his actions graceful. His face is not disagreeable, though we have seen better looking Africans. His voice is rich and melodious. It resembles Macready's, but has more volume. Of his performance, these were its redeeming qualities. An, an African is no more qualified to personate Othello than a huge fat man would be competent to represent Falstaff. English audiences have a prejudice in favor of European features, which more than counterbalance the recommendations of a flat nose and thick lips. Mr. Aldrich's declamation is faulty. It is marked by numerous instances of false emphasis, incorrect readings, and by vulgarisms of pronunciation. It is superfluous to enter into any detailed criticisms of such a performance as this. It was, upon the whole, a failure. But the applause bestowed on his performance induced the manager to announce its repetition. Bonnie, have you seen? Who took this from my office? These are mine. Answer me! It was me, sir. I, I didn't realize... What? I went to stage door and they were there, so I simply... You simply took them. I'm sorry. Really sorry. They were for me. It's not such a serious matter, surely, Pierre. We could buy them off the corner if we wanted. Have you read them? Not all of them. I'm ever so sorry, sir. Connie. They've really gone for him. Doesn't bode well at all. I don't think they finished. It would be better to to read them later. Why? Why? Because mixed reviews can unsettle a performance. It's for the best. Do you enjoy the performance, Pierre? I think the company did a, an excellent job. I really don't think they finished. Foot, please, Connie. Pierre yeah, might have a point, old girl. No, Bernard. If we don't take responsibility for our work, what, what are we doing here? We mustn't overestimate our work. We need to know what they think. At least let someone else read it, darling. criticize a black actor on account of the novelty of the spectacle. Spectacle. Well, well, that's fair. Henry. Sorry. Um, but at Covent Garden, they brought out a genuine gentleman to act Othello. This gentleman is the color of a new half penny. His hair is woolly, and his features, although African, are considerably deep. But owing to the shape of his lips, it's utterly impossible for him to pronounce English in a manner to satisfy even the unfastidious ears of the gallery. I thought his pronunciation was quite good. For a Yankee. How are the houses tonight, sir? Tonight is good. It's very good. I, I need to speak to you all after this performance. Why? Is something wrong? No, no, it's just 
few housekeeping issues. Where does Hans come in? What is it, sir? Will it take long? We'll chat afterwards. We, Connie, bring these papers to my office. And then when the company is finished with them. Um, Ellen. Charles. I wonder, may I have a quick word with you both? It's about the next play. Just a couple of details? Yes. Yes, of course. Uh, put some fresh tea in my dressing room, will you, Connie? I have an appointment at Drury Lane in an hour. It won't take long. Fine. I don't know, everyone. Have a good show. <clears throat> After you, darling. Okay, Connie! Questions, Betty. That's the beauty of being an actor. You just play your part and go home. Thanks for the tea, Connie. I'll see you on. Evening, Betty. Uh, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, sir. Just sorry. I was just about to. Oh, of course. Bernard! Oh, I have to uh, yeah. check my tongue. Yes, of course. Well, you did well last night. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Time to go? Uh, I guess, I guess just a, a vocal warm up, a, a bit of a stretch. Cheerio. Something I said. Uh, can I have some tea, please? 